Hello guys, good afternoon, good evening, good morning, anywhere you find yourself. This is your darling, your sweetheart, Queen Luxit in the building. Yo, yo, yo. Guys, today we are going to prepare Sialon cassava leaf with coconut oil. Sialon white cassava leaf with coconut oil. So guys, if you want to see how I manage to guard this looks, then sit, relax, and watch me cook the best favorite dish of Sierra Leone, Sierra Leone cassava leaf with coconut oil. Thank you very much to all my old subscribers and to those that are coming, the new ones. I thank you for your support, your love, and everything you have been doing. Your likes and views are all counted. I appreciate you guys. Thank you very, very much. Please, guys, stay with me. Continue to support me. And trust me, I'll continue to give you all the recipes that I know how to cook. Thank you very much thank you and so the new one that will be coming you are welcome and please stay in my channel because this channel is going to make sure you have the best and best favorite dishes and lovely makeup and more to come there will be more and more things to come thank you everybody thank you everyone please subscribe to my channel for more and more recipes thank you very much love you guys bye bye mm, my bestie team thank you guys so as you guys see our cassava leaf have been already been done so guys let's enjoy see alone cassava leaf with coconut oil Ooh. guys this is it let's start this is my cow skin uh, we can call it in our local term kanda or cow kanda this is my smoke fish my okra i'm using raw okra today my onions already be sliced my fish and meat already be seasoned steam and fried my cassava leaves as i told you guys we are going to cook Sierra cassava leaf with coconut oil. This is my chicken stock water. My pepper, garlic, and onions have already been blended. I like to, it's optional to put garlic, but for me, I like it when I put it. This is my beans. So, guys, this is the beans I'm using since we don't have the already dry one here. I use this from the supermarket and this is my ground nuts i'm using the smooth one i bought it from the supermarket not from african store my coconut oil as you guys see same from supermarket and i bought it set as you guys see everything is set so now we are going to be starting to cook so guys we are coming to blend our cassava leaf now. It depends. Some cassava leaf are blend already nicely. But for this one, it's not blend nicely. So I decided to blend it a little bit. And this is the blender I use whenever I want to blend something harder. I don't use the same blender to blend them. So guys, can you see the silver leaf? What I did was I... Can you see it? It's a little bit smash i wash it because i don't know how they grind it 
and guys please make sure you wash your cassava leaf after I finish washing it when I'm blending it I make sure I put my chicken stock a little and blend it together so that it can have uh, the water in it I don't wash it after I blend it I, I wash it after before I blend it I mean I wash it before I blend it so that I will not wash everything out and when I mean wash I don't put lots of water I just make sure put it into a sifter be pouring water and squeeze it then put it to the blender put my stock water that's how I do it and so now as you can see the beans you see just like back home that's how it looks the big beans or be big beans you guys see that's how most of the ceiling I cannot put your castle leaf or potato leaf without this but it's optional if you want it you can put it if you don't want you can leave it I just feel like putting it to remember back home so as you can see this is my pot I already put everything inside my oil coconut oil my onions my granuts and my maggi have already been inside so now i'm going to turn my cassava leaf because i i like it when it's all blend together all boiled together you know let us the, the the taste of the granite sit inside the cassava leaf it should be so yummy and now I turn my balanced stock chicken water and then the next thing I will do I'm going to turn my beans I don't smash it because normally we should we smash some and leave some yes but this is and they are not too strong like back home which you boil for yourself you know all the stuff we need it anyway, but that is how um, we see my job. So now we are going to leave it to boil. We're going to leave it to boil for like 15 minutes and come back again. As you guys see, I blended my pepper. I want it to boil like 15 minutes before I put my pepper and onions and the garlic. I just put two bowls of garlic. I just like the taste and the flavor anyway guys uh, I did not used to cook it like this before but one of my girlfriend cooked it like this with including the garlic wow it was so so delicious and the smell so since then I started to give my cassava leaf one or two garlic it's so nice I just like it because I'm the type that likes season and season smell and no I'm a season addict so when i taste it i just like it that way so guys that's it let's wait and give it 15 minutes and come back again sit relax and cook with me see a little cassava leaf with coconut oil so guys this is my pepper ready and blended it and my dry fish small fish already been picked and my okra Already be blend my rock already be blend. So now let's open our pot after 15 minutes. Let's see. The job is less. You don't need to be putting this, putting this you know. Everything is done. And why I put my goat skin or Calcanda before time, put it first than my chicken or meat. It's because uh, I want it to cook, all right, it's already been cooked, but I want it more soft, so that's why. So now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be putting my meat, my fried meat, sorry, the meat I already steamed. I want it more soft. I will only leave the chicken because I do not use the strong chicken. I use the soft one. So that's it, guys. And my smoked 
dish i'm going to leave it let it dry for some time now we are going to cover it again for another 15 minutes yeah so guys after the 15 minutes this is how it looks now we are going to add our chicken and our fish our smoked fish and i'm going to put my two bought pepper now and stir it and leave it again now to dry and then after 10 minutes i'm going to add my okra my blended okra guys i reduce the the heat so that it cannot burn before it go to fry it full so that the cover will not be sweating and the water going inside it. Yeah, just leave it a little bit like this so that the heat can be coming out. So that's it, guys. Let's wait for another 10 minutes and check it again. We are back again in Queen Luxem Kitchen. So, guys. This is the time you are going to put your okra when you start seeing the oil on top. It shows you that your cassava leaf is already been done cooking. As you guys see, you see the oil? You see the oil? You see it? It shows that. Yeah. So just see. So now, we are going to be adding our okra. Guys, see, um, normally, normally, when I add my okra, I don't mix it, I cover my pot so, so that it can steam well. As you guys see, I don't put the silver leaves and it starts to be jumping. One, two, three, okay. As I make sure I remove it so that it can cook and done. So now, as we, you guys see, we cover it already. We are going to give it like uh, five more minutes or seven more minutes. We check it again, then we mix it. By then, the the okra will have been steamed and spread all over so it can reach all over the city. That's how I do my okay guys so let's give it another seven minutes at least. So guys we are back again. As you guys see I make sure I keep it low. So now we're going to mix our okra and the cassava leaf. So guys, I make sure after mixing it, I cover it for like a few minutes. So as you guys see, as you guys can see, as you guys can see, it's already done. I'm just going to be leaving it to be boiling like this. As you guys see. Take a look at it. So, as my mama used to say, there are three things to a man's heart. Firstly, his stomach. Secondly, his body. And thirdly, respect. So, ladies, if you don't know how to do one of it or two, try and do it. Even though I knew and I know that most of our African men can do everything, go heaven and come back, they will still go. But let me tell you one thing. If they do, they leave you, the next woman they will go to, honestly speaking, after being treated the way he was not expected, he will start to be chasing us. How cats used to chase rats. By then, another man will have grabbed so my brothers, run, grab your copy now. Among the women that do that, we are just 40 and have been taken. So among that 40, 20 have been taken. There are 20 women, grab yours now. Long time. 
this is Queen Noxin Kitchen, the Mamina Power. You don't talk, oh, you not forget to. So, guys, let's give it like five more minutes to dry up finally, and then. So, my darlings, my cassara leaf have been cool. So, this is how it looks like. Thank you very much.